about as ready as I can be. <coughs> Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. How you look. Welcome back to Jacob V Weekly. We want to start like we do every episode by inviting you to donate to Caddyshack of New Hamill, Illinois. I'm a board uh, of director. I'm a board director. I di- I'm a director <laughs> of... Uh, I'm I sit on the board. Board of director. For Caddyshack, a 100% nonprofit, family-owned, tiny little cat rescue here in New Hamill, Illinois, just outside of my hometown of St. Louis, over by the Edwardsville. Uh, and usually I don't have anything to do with the state of Illinois. I don't like it there. I don't believe in it. Property tax. Ridiculous. Something about th- something. I don't even remember what the difference is, but uh, there is one good thing over there, and that's Caddyshack of New Hamill, Illinois. And uh, we were just talking about doing some fundraising. I host trivia every Thursday evening at the Blue Wood Brewing. One of my best friends of all time. Um uh, operates uh, uh, his dream there, making the beer for the people. He's and a it's head come brewer. a long way, mm-hmm. and uh, I love it. I love every minute of it. I love everything about it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I host trivia there. And yes. we were talking about doing some trivia or some karaoke or some bingo for the Caddyshack. So stay tuned for that because we'll be sure to let you know about that. No antics. Uh, out there doing it i'm working on the fifth video right now the fourth video is in the can it's already done it'll be out soon um for the song listen which is already on spotify and everywhere else you listen to music but our audience seems to be spotify heavy i don't know why that is and then um also uh we just dropped a couple weeks ago the video for let me out which we shot at my mother's cabin and it turned out lovely and uh, that's on youtube no antics Uh, we have five singles out and then the full length album is almost done i think everything is recorded i think we're just cleaning out some things and full length incoming from no antics it's gonna be 10 previously unreleased songs that was deliberate and we're gonna have a video eventually for every single one of those so that's my new thing blinded by stereo is gigging very soon blinded by stereo i know we're meeting this weekend because uh, we are playing friday the third at the heavy anchor blinded by stereo at the heavy anchor here in st louis march 3rd march 4th no antics is playing platypus oh that'll be fun that's gonna be really good this weekend February 25th, I'm going to be at Sky Music Lounge Saturday evening at 6.30 with Flyover State. That's like a Tom Petty tribute band, amongst where, other where things. Is, where is that again? Sky Music Lounge, mm-hmm. Saturday night, the 25th. Where is Sky Music Lounge? Baldwin. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. Hmm. Mm-hmm. It's out there, though. <laughs> I don't drink anymore, so it doesn't bother me, but when I was drinking, you couldn't get me to Baldwin. Oh, you know what I'm man. saying, girl? Getting back from Baldwin. That, getting that back. was the problem. Getting you know? back. Get back. Get back. Oh, uh, what else we got on the agenda here, sister? Uh, easy living on all platforms. That's Jacob V's most recent single. It's my quarantine anthem. My wife hates it. <laughs> she doesn't like it at all. She thinks it's a jab at her personally or something, I think. Is it because you play it nonstop? Or is it no, the it's lyrics? the subject matter. Oh, well, why would you write bad things? It's not bad. I'm telling. It's just kind of about being lazy. Oh, well, you know, 
So I do like that when I have. But it really wasn't about that. the The lyric was not. It was just about what was going on that day. It was one lyric. It's not a lot of lyrics in the song. It's not a word heavy song. Hmm. Is it like "Feel Like I Do" by Vin Diesel? Uh, it's not quite that good. Hey man, sell yourself. I mean, I I'm not Vin Diesel. But it's not dissimilar. <laughs> I think if you like that song by Vin Diesel, I think you would like Easy Living by oh, Jacob V. I think everyone needed Spotify. that, especially like during quarantine and things. Like when I Exactly. But you know what? It's been a while now. We're going on what? It's been three, a while! This is our third year? Oh, no, whoa! Been three of what? Years. Third, third year of what? This will be our fourth year of COVID. It's still happening. Well, that means, you know, the podcast is having an anniversary soon. Yes. I think a lot of people have podcasts that are, you know, having anniversary soon because COVID inspired a lot of podcasting. You got a uke? Is that a uke? This is my ukulele that my mother-in-law got me for Christmas. You got a uke? Uke. Ooh, ukulele. Did you know I could do that? I didn't know you could do that, but I'm impressed. You know, but also I'm not really surprised because you're very musically talented. Instrumentally, hey. quite the talent. Thank you. Just instrumentally, huh? No, Man, all, it's a hard all, sell. All around. People hate when I sing. It's so crazy. People hate my singing voice. They think it's like like a gay Kermit the Frog is what I get a lot I in the comments. People say, you sing like Kermit the Frog. This song's not about anything. You're wasting everyone's time. I mean, I get a lot of that. That's the feedback I get a lot. I support you. And I, I, I came wanna... to see you at the Heavy Anchor when you did your thing. It was very nice of you. Mm -hmm. And you're on my there. Patreon. Can we talk about the Patreon for a minute? Plug it. The only way to support this show financially is patreon.com slash Jacob V. The only ad I hold on this version of the show currently is uh, an ad I donate to Caddyshack every week. So it's not even an ad. We just mentioned it at the top of the show. I don't charge them anything because I'm on the board of directors because we're saving cats. But he's, for me, patreon.com slash Jacob V, there is hours upon hours of content on there that you can't get anywhere else because i don't know what to do with it there's um i think four or five songs dropping this month that nobody has heard in over 10 years that uh were a collaboration with an old friend of mine and i don't know what we're ever going to do with them and so right now they're only on patreon because that's the only place that makes sense because you can have access to everything patreon and uh, lossless quality um, masters of uh, all the material you hear streaming by me or any of the bands I'm in, they're also there on Patreon. And uh, it's just what you uh, it's what you want to do. It's a dollar a week for this show, and then everything that's on the Patreon, which is sometimes extra episodes of the show. Sometimes it's music. Sometimes it's a video. They do video now on Patreon. It's great. I'm so happy they finally joined the 21st century and they host video on their platform now because you used to have to link a Vimeo and it was a pain in the ass. Nobody wants it. Oh, everyone hates Vimeo. And Vimeo. Ugh. It's like, why don't you lock me up in prison? You want me to it's start like, a Vimeo account? How about you shackle my feet to a brick? It's like the DMV of uh, like streaming services. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's like the principal's office. Yeah, sit there. Someone's always like just making you uncomfortable. I don't know what it is. Anyway. Patreon. Jesus. Oh, I get upset. <sighs> You're a patron. I am. Um, of, you, of many places. You interact with the, uh, the, the patron content a lot? I like to go on there. I like to check it out. You like to see what I'm doing? Yeah. But I appreciate you know, also, you. I talk to you. So, I mean, you know, I could always just do that. Yeah, that's true. I basically follow you on every platform. Well, good. Yeah, you know, I support. Uh, we have a phone number for the show. Let me make sure I'm logged in to the, to the Google phone. <laughs> Because uh, you could text the show live anytime we're live. You can text us at 314-626-4208. And then all the socials are across the top here. And uh, let's move on. Um, Clay, we got to mm -hmm. talk about East Palestine, Ohio. Oh, man. Holy Moses. Been ruling the I mean, criminy. It's all over the place. And it's horrible. I it's mean, not great. It's god awful. And it's not my favorite. I just keep, you know, hearing shit about it and passing now because it's kind of like it's. What's crazy is I hear a lot about it, but it's also like everyone is also saying that nobody's talking about it, which it's I guess not getting like main media coverage enough. But who's watching the main media? Because everyone I'm listening uh, to is people. talking about it. I mean, if you got the Instagrams and you follow the right accounts, or if you you know got the TikToks or uh, you know 
probably not Facebook because, but, uh, you know, other, other ones really wherever, um, I've gotten a lot of information. Uh, really? Well, what, anything good? Well, I mean, no, it's all just horrible. What I do think is a weird one that people keep bringing up is, uh, the Netflix movie white noise. Yeah. I haven't seen that. Did you know that the people that own Netflix also own the company that had those chemicals in that train? I forget the name of the company, something Vaught or Vaughn, something, something, I don't know, like that, but they own Netflix and they own that train or the company that was transporting the shit for the, the, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Really? Oh yeah. I didn't know any of that. <clears throat> yeah. So they own it and they made that movie like six months before it happened in a very like exactly similar place. Um, it wasn't it in Ohio. There are people that were extras yeah, in the movie from, that are being Palestine. affected by mm-hmm. the train derailment. Yeah, no, it's crazy. People's yeah. chickens are dying in their backyard. <laughs> Fucking uh, people's children are waking up vomiting. Cats are sick. Uh, children are vomiting. People are experiencing headaches. People are having rashes. Well, I mean, you can get that anywhere. What's the latest in Ohio? Top stories: rashes, toxic drink. Also, the forty-five thousand animals dead in counting. Also, if it oh my god, that's horrible. Also, if you uh, have heard that it's gotten into the Ohio River system and it, that lets Oof. out into the Mississippi down Pete by Pete Buttigieg is down there. Pete, he's the director of, or he's the secretary of transportation or something. Mm-hmm. And so I guess it's under his jurisdiction. I don't know that I would show my face if I was him, but uh, I hope he drinks the water. I hope he's okay. I hope it's, I hope it's fine. I hope it's fine. Like they said it was immediately after it happened. Everything's fine. That was a lie. Well, right. And uh, also, oh, oh, so oh, oh, see, here's one other thing. I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, like in the last year, I think the uh, EPA has changed like the, acceptable amount of vinyl chloride vinyl chloride and raised it so that the people like in the now now conveniently it's been the same way since 2006 and then the last year they decided to change it and then this shit keeps happening all over the country different chemical spills and different kind of truck and train accidents and uh it used to be that you could have like like you have to have like point zero zero three percent is allowed in your blood system and they raised it insanely in the last year that's uh, another thing that they're saying that they didn't necessarily make this one happen, but they allowed it to happen. And but they knew it was going to happen because the infrastructure was so poorly. And maintained. then the control they detonation knew it was going to happen thing. somewhere eventually or something. The control detonation thing was fucking crazy. I mean, uh, for the controlled burn. Yeah, you try to you know, just put it in the air, like no es bueno, señor. Yeah, yeah. I you know I don't speak Spanish. Neither do I. <clears throat> Around 9 p.m. on February 3rd, a train derailed in East Palestine, a village of about 4,700 residents, about 50 miles northwest of Pittsburgh. There were 150 cars on the route from Madison, Illinois to Conway, Pennsylvania. The National Transportation Safety Board said that 38 cars derailed and a fire ensued, which damaged another 12. The train, operated by Norfolk Southern, had been carrying chemicals Norfolk and combustible Southern. materials with vinyl chloride, a toxic flammable gas. I'm going to find this out real quick. Three days later, the authorities performed a controlled release of the toxic materials from Wasn't five tankers. Definitely a release, Jesus. And derived a, to a trench, diverted to a trench and burned off. So they, so it sat in the cars for three days, but they were afraid mm-hmm. it was going to explode and that the shrapnel would have traveled over a mile. Shit, what's that company called again? Something Northern? Norfolk. Norfolk. Southern. Ah, uh, there it is. That's what it is. Um, oh, today they were supposed to release a preliminary report. So where is that report? Can I have that? Oh, and here's East Palestine, Ohio's Vanguard website. Group. Here we go. Van- East Palestine, Ohio, the place you want to be. The company that owns uh, Norfolk Southern also owns Netflix, and that is Vanguard Group. Well, great. We're both about to get assassinated. Mm-hmm. They're getting docked. You can't say their name. Hmm? They probably own this platform that we're on. Oh, man, I really would hate to just get mysteriously killed. That would be horrible. What else do they own? A lot. You're going to quit looking into this? Yeah, I'm scared of it now. (laughs) It's probably still open on your phone. It is. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, retail investors, Norfolk, uh, Southern Insiders, institutional shareholders, they're kind of all over the place. You know, my thing it's is kind of like uh what's that what's that major corporation that's in the other guys? Something global. We're in everything. We're in everything. You remember what I'm talking about. I don't remember the name though. Mm-mm. Nope, neither do I. It's not worth looking into. It's not. 
it's fiction but either way it's horrible and it makes it sound like you know a whole thing and maybe maybe the fucking chinese spy balloons are to distract us from ohio maybe oh, we, have we not talked about the balloons no we haven't talked about the balloons we haven't talked about this shit no i meant did we not talk about the balloons last time nope nope we didn't even mention the balloons once last time. I don't time. think we even mentioned this last time, and it was definitely after this happened. Uh, I think now we're just getting it hammered in our heads on the social medias, uh, and this is good. This gets exposure. But uh, yes, no, we didn't talk about that or the Chinese balloons, the mm. spy balloons. Hello. So that could be a whole thing. And you know, I keep hearing that's like, oh, military fired like $22 million missile at an $8 party balloon. And then people are also like posting pictures of like satellites connected to white balloons from space. I'm just going to Google the word balloon. It's a lot. There's a lot going on. And I don't know really how severe This is it my is. favorite. I think it's a distraction from all the chemical spills happening around the country. One just happened in Texas the other day, too. Really? It was a truck. It wasn't nearly as much hazardous chemicals as, as we experienced in east palestine we we meeting you and me because we were there um and uh it just it just spilled a shit ton of chemicals i don't know stuff's crazy no one's talking about that i think joe. another one happened somewhere else i don't know joe is uh trying to help but he's not using complete sentences i don't know what he, he said black rock I, am i allowed to say black rock i don't say it again though because black if we say rock, it three times rock. no they're gonna show i but I'm, that's them at the door right now. What is that? No, upstairs. That's Lewis's no, toenails the on the thing, hardwood the floor. The thing that you don't want us to say out loud. What is it? Black Rock. You don't even know what Black Rock is. This is why I love to have you on I the show. I don't. I don't know. How, I, I have no idea what that is. Uh, Sounds shady, though. Uh, Stop. People are going to get offline. I got two cats on me. Yeah, I don't even know that I know enough about a timeline of the UFOs that were shot down. Let's look at that. Let's see if that's helpful. Are they of UFOs or are they Chinese spy balloons? Well, a UFO could be a, a spy balloon. If you don't know that it's a spy oh, so it's balloon. it's just a flying object that's unidentified. Yeah, it's, we prefer to say unidentified aerial phenomenon, UAP. That was a trivia question tonight, the blue hood. I'm so glad I wasn't there because I would not have gotten that question. Oh, that's why you're glad? Mm-hmm. Ignorance. It's bliss. What else you got over there? Well, I'm trying to open this fucking article about the goddamn balloons. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. How about that weather this week, huh? Describe it to me. I mean, it was just it was just kind of nice out and a little. It got nice and nice and mild for a couple of days. And then it rained, and then now a cold front's come in. It was real cold uh, when I left the house earlier. This is not a timeline. This is stuff I have to read. Oh, you don't. Want February fourth, a Chinese spy balloon is shot down over the Atlantic Ocean. Mm -hmm. February 10th, a UFO is shot down off of Alaska. Yes. February 11th, a UFO is shot down over Canada. Praise be Canada. February 12th, a UFO is shot down over Lake Huron. That's the one that threw me off because I felt like that one was out of place compared to everything else. It was at about 20,000 feet, had an octagonal structure with strings hanging off of it, but no discernible payload. No discernible payload? What's the point? Some of the objects have not yet been recovered successfully since being shot down. Interesting. I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but I think that they have something to do with pulling the media away Some from of the these, East Palestine thing. I'm just going to say it. So they've called off the search to recover a couple of them. It's possible they were largely uh, vaporized, though. I mean, after being shot down by expensive missiles. Mm, or they were vaporized on purpose by the government. <sighs> yeah, I've always said that. Mm -hmm. I hate when the government vaporizes things. I mean, it's like, how are we supposed to hold anybody accountable for anything if you turn it into vapor? Yeah. Like, we it's just there's literally no hard evidence at that point because it's all... I can't take vapor to court. On the atmosphere. Here's my thing for real. Can we talk about this for a minute? Mm. My Jack in the Box cup has said buttery Jack on it for like 11 years, mm. and I've never had one of those. Is that a menu item? Uh, I honestly have not been to Jack in the Box in so long. I don't oh, know. you got to go. No? No, the ones that are still around are real good. Are you... Okay. It's really good. The food has gotten better because they don't make anything ahead of time. They just always look like they're closed, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to 
but it turns out the ones that aren't boarded up are not closed. I tell you what, I've been fucking with uh, an embarrassing amount lately because I haven't had it in so long. Taco Bell. Yeah, you know what? Hold on, let me talk for a second. Okay. I because I, I sometimes I'll go out and grab a quick lunch instead of bringing lunch from home and just a whole thing. And I live or I, I work out where I work, like in the county, and there's like so many fucking restaurants and stuff around that area. Uh, and it's always like you go to get like a fucking burger, fries, and a and a soda in a drive through, and it's like twelve bucks. You can order Taco Bell online and make your own custom box and get a soda with that custom box for five dollars. In person, you mean? You order online, you can go pick it up in person. You just pull up in the drive through, and you're like, "Hey, my name's Clay. I made this online order," and then they'll you know like be like, "Oh, cool. We'll pull up, and they'll have it ready. For, like they'll make it and then give it to you fresh." <laughs> Which location five is that fucking for fucking dollars. Taco Bell's all over the place. I go to one. There's one in Gravoy Bluffs area. There's one in, uh, there's one in like uh, Sappington, maybe is what's called. Right down by St. Anthony's Hospital. Uh, don't you know. those, didn't the South County Taco Bell's close real early, though? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm doing it on my lunch break. So I'm, oh, 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 oh. I'm doing oh. it like noon. No, for lunch, yeah. For lunch? Yeah, no, I haven't done the late night Taco Bell in a minute, but also I don't feel like I've been going out and going crazy. I'm just not like even usually midnight. awake for lunch. Maybe every once in a while. I've been trying to be better about my positioning when I get hammered drunk in public. Yeah, I hear you there. Yeah. You know me, I'm off the sauce. I'm just trying to be clean and clear about it without being clean and clear. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so that's our fast food report for the week. Uh, we got East Palestine, Ohio. I'm praying for them. It's, you know, it's upsetting. And then there was a train derailment in Arizona, apparently yep. since then. And, uh, it's, it's, there was one in one of the it's a bigger issue. It's a bigger issue than just the one thing. But no, also yeah, it's the, happening it's, all over the place. Yeah. If you're in East Palestine, Ohio, you need to go ahead and get out of there for a while. Maybe have a shower outside of the state somewhere, maybe upwind. <clears throat> And uh, I just think it's fucked. I think take some that vitamin it's, uh, D. I, could, I think it's an eco disaster, is mm-hmm. what I want to call it. Good one. Yeah, that's a hot take. Well, it just is. I mean, it's something that there actually probably is way worse than everyone's saying, and it could affect that area for a very long period of time. Uh, and I don't know if you know this, but oh, I mean, Ohio's got a lot of shit in it. Like what? There's just a lot of major cities and people. And I schools. just recently ate barbecue off a cart in the street in ohio this the is first before airplane this. was built in ohio the what i got a buddy from dayton he was talking about it dayton is where i was eating barbecue blind by stereo plays there yeah i got a buddy that's from dayton anyway uh, um yeah either way cheapest like best quality fast food i've had lately has been that five dollar customizable box on online for taco bell that's all i'm saying that's what we were getting into so when's the last time you went to a Wendy's? Are they even real? It's been a little while on the Wendy's. I can think of three of them right now. Usually if it's I go to Wendy's, it's because I'm on the road. Like uh, I'm stopping at a little highway town in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, there's always like McDonald's. Like stuff. if you go over to like uh, Fairview Heights or something, or like if you're driving through Illinois. Love gas stations. Yeah, yeah, Loves. yeah. Yeah, if you're at like a truck stop truck that has stop a Wendy's. Um, no, I've been to the Hampton Wendy's probably this calendar year. <coughs> I can't say that I have. Um, I always get the something chicken related usually. I'm really not into the fast food beef lately. That's understandable. Oh, you I, know what, though? I did have a burger the other day that was freaking where from oh shit that's what it was i met my i met my buddy for lunch on saturday last week and uh last weekend and we had to keep bopping around because it was sunday at lunchtime so everything was just packed and we had to go into crow's nest uh and there i got the slinger but like had one of their good thick burgers in the slinger boy yeah i love the slinger there i just love shout I out love them flavors yo yeah i like the flavors and the mm-hmm. mouthfeel and the mouthfeel yeah, and kinda, they do poutine like really good. waffle fry poutine motherfucker Ugh. have Ugh. you been to the new location in sulart uh eat crow i have not been Me no Mm-mm. uh but you know i've heard good things i think i know some people that's been, that have worked there or helped open it i don't know really you like don't know was, what you know, do you? No, I usually walk into you a place and I'm like, anymore. oh my God, that person works here. And then that happens. And, you know, because sometimes people bounce around. Um, did you see that fucking bear got out again? Mm-hmm. Just today? What's his name, Ben? This is like the last episode of the podcast. We ended with this great segment all about how this bear had escaped at the St. Louis Zoo here. What's his name, Ben? 
His name's Ben. Yep. He's a Andean sun bear. Which they're adorable if you oh, see a picture precious. of them. Oh, he's precious. Oh, he's a sweet boy. Apparently, they can be a little bit aggressive. He which can makes be cantankerous. Look, he looks upset. He's 300 some pounds. Uh, he's for the second time this month, twice? Ben the Bear broke free from his confinement oh. in St. Louis Zoo. At 1.24 p.m., the Indian Bear broke out of his confinement in the River's Edge section of the zoo early this afternoon. What are they going to do with Ben? Do they have to ship him off somewhere so he can the run and be free? zoo was locked down with a shelter-in-place order in effect. People around the <clears> zoo <throat> were encouraged to stay in their cars. Oh, so this time people were there. Oh, see, that's Shortly dangerous. Shortly after he broke out, zoo officials told Kevin the bear had been darted and transported to his habitat. So, I mean, I, I, he doesn't sound like a large bear, but they still got them big-ass, like, salad finger claws going on. Have you seen what they look like? Well, and obviously he's not happy. Their claws are he, as long as my fucking index finger. busting out of his cage. And uh, and they can be aggressive. Oh sure, we looked into it earlier this evening, my fiance and I. Congratulations, by the way. I, we don't have to do that every time. I'm doing it every time till it's over. I'm just talking about how we we did that anyway. Uh, you know, I've really been thinking hard about the issues globally with uh, Russia and the Ukraine and China and Taiwan and. Uh, that whole thing mm. and i've been listening you know to a lot of stuff i've kind of been uh i've kind of been like just under like a like a, a rock lately and i've not looked into anything international like, well some of the stuff that i've gathered in my research is that the united states being you know the the world's largest exporter of food um means that we're not going to starve to death in a global crisis which is good now russia and china can't necessarily say that especially because they both have a population problem uh, oh man, wait, actually, did I see something about Japan putting some sort of crazy law in? Japan? Maybe it was Japan. No, I think we're supposed to be friends with Japan. It might so have been China. I think well, that maybe we're allied with Japan now in a way. Yeah. But the but we, every time somebody people are going over there acting like they're gonna start World War Three. I don't know what they're doing. Kamala Harris is in Munich talking about there's war crimes and we're gonna hold people accountable. Mm. And then um Munich's beautiful. I think Biden was in Ukraine, wasn't it just yesterday? Was it yesterday or two days ago? Because he was walking with the he was walking with Zelensky. Like they want him Zelensky, to get like they the want him to get snipped. Yeah, no, just out in public, not not really heavily guarded. But was he wearing a mask? Uh, ooh, I know he was wearing a long black coat. Well, that's good. That's all I got. <laughs> Do you want me to look into it? No, you got Please. a computer. You look into it. No, but I'm streaming, and so but it's my hard. problem is I don't know enough information, so. You can't read a little bit. I, okay. you know, I wouldn't put a passion not to be able to read a little bit. You know bit. what? I'm I'm mildly illiterate. Oh, apparently Biden's sending troops to Taiwan. That's not what I want. I might have just misspelled Ukraine. No, I got it. <laughs> you stop this. Biden quotes: "Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia, never." Which is the longest sentence he's been able to string together in months. Yeah, that's um, that bothers me because that's you know because he's got to. I mean, because if we're telling Russia that Russia's going to lose, what if they disagree? I'm just trying to de-escalate, and maybe that's inappropriate. Maybe we uh, maybe we should start World War Three for all these other people. Well, see, this is not his first time going to Kiev, though. He went to Kiev. Uh, Kiev. 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 Ukraine. Kiev. Anyway, so yeah, he went to Kiev. Uh, apparently, at the <laughs> beginning of the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine as well. Uh, Kiev. And uh, so yes, this is his second time there, I guess maybe. Really? This says his first since, so maybe he's been multiple times, but not since then. So, yeah, I think he's just going to pop over there maybe once, twice a year. You know, kind of like going to see, like, a grandparent. You know? But he's going to pop over to Kiev? I don't know what else is going on other than they're giving them a shit ton of money. I don't want to talk about the debt ceiling. I don't want to talk about debt at all. Can or we really just act any, like it doesn't exist? Can we exist? pretend that financial just... Ooh, uh, Marianne Williamson is running again. Uh, is that the author? Uh, I get her and Carly mixed is that up. That, is that that woman that's running for um, the Republican Party? No, she looks like she's running. She would run as a Democrat, I believe. She's There's the one that somebody. was like the the New Age author that was like she would call the president of New Zealand and say, "Girlfriend, you are so on." You don't remember Marianne Williamson? I'm sorry. Oh my God, I, I love her so much. I, I hope she wins. I wish that I could, but I can't. Say I don't that know I that I'll vote for her, but I do hope she wins. 
And then I don't know if Trump's going to be able to run. He just got. Uh, uh, like let 12, him try. He's got like 12 kind of indictment. Like, no, something's happened. He may run to keep himself out of jail. You know, that actually might be exactly what happens. But I think it just has happened multiple times now and he just keeps getting out of it. So, yeah. You know, I mean, what do you do? I would. I've, I keep thinking that they'll go to arrest him and then his Secret Service will have a, like an armed standoff with like a sheriff or something. Like Red State. The movie? Yeah. The Kevin Smith movie? Right. I forgot that existed. Oh, it's a good one. I can't yeah, stream no, it anywhere. So I, I definitely uh, saw it. Uh, I saw it in theaters, I think. I'm just picturing like an armed standoff no, between the, the Secret Service at mar lago and then like a Florida sheriff that's trying to arrest him for, you know. Yes, and then the horns of the apocalypse. But it turns out it's just a bunch of Yeah, kids. that was a weird choice. Well, I think it was just meant to put a spin on it. Actually, they weren't supposed to explain the horns in the end of that movie. And then they added the scene in mm -hmm. where I think John Goodman goes in and explains in like some sort of recorded interview thing about uh, how the um, horns of the apocalypse were actually a bunch of kids fucking with like a car no, stereo like or a, something. It was like a flood warning. No, no, no. It was some sort of prank. No, I'm not, saying. we're not going to argue about them. Pull up the clip. It's <laughs> Yeah, let's all hold our let's, let's hold our hold live audience for a minute so we can so we can watch scrub this real quick the end of Red State and try to figure out exactly what the horns it's were. It's not worth it. <coughs> I thought they were flooding a dam it nearby. Was better than yoga hosers. I don't even know what that is. It's another Kevin Smith movie. I don't want to get into yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, they were like hot dog Nazis. Sometimes you got to make something just because you're not making anything else. Oh, I mean, yeah, you just got to stay relevant. You know what I mean? Well, like, really I'm always I am always brewing something. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep it in progress. Well. No, no, I'm sorry, I had nothing to do. You are to just, like, such a bag of shit. What? <laughs> I'm trying to help, but, like, I have you, nothing else to say about that. Do topic. you feel like the sauna immediately before the podcast helped? Um... Just how do you compare this? I mean, last time you had been drinking all day when we started this. Oh, yeah. No, last time we did this, I had been drinking for like 10 hours. And today mm -hmm. you were just at a sauna. Well, I know. I got off home. I got off work. Were I you at home. a club fitness? Yeah. I, so that's where I go. I, I got off work. I got home. Uh, I had dinner with Danielle. What did you have for dinner? You know, I love the details about the dinner. She made some sort of like cabbage, uh, cabbage and like pork belly and like mushroom soup mm. oh some, she makes a good soup some sort of recipe she found on the ticket talk is uh, was it okay uh it was good it was good but also i've had uh basically just like my all my primary meals in the last 72 hours have consisted uh, have contained pork belly and i'm really burned out on pork belly did you guys buy a bunch of pork belly we went to sam's and she grabbed a whole ass thing of pork belly and we ate it in four days well you got to it was just a lot. You don't want, you don't want to freeze it because it's ever going to be as good. I will say I don't know if it's some sort of thing, and I don't want to like talk about the gym too much because I I don't know why I think that sounds weird, but I uh, have never had a better workout than a after a belly full of pork belly. Yeah, it just really gives you that extra oomph. Belly full of belly. Belly full of belly. <laughs> <laughs> um that happened to us one time keenan's uncle gave us like a like a restaurant sized tub of goat cheese oh no and so we just added goat cheese to all of our favorite recipes for like two weeks and it was the best time of my life oh that sounds like a lot i kind of wish i could lower your camera angle just because the cats are in frame let me see, let's They're let's do it so it's fun handsome. isn't it look how handsome they are look at that transition what are you talking about I'm just cooking. Oh, did you put me on the main screen? Well, I just made it bigger just so that, uh, you know. Okay. I mean, I just got some cats on me. I just want them in the They're good cats. Oh, yeah. Dumb boys. We damn boys. We damn boys. Look what, at them. What were we talking about? Look at them. We See, now they belly. like this show all of a sudden. My God, he looks like a seal. Anyway, they were getting skinny, but now I don't know. What should we talk about? What's going on? What should we talk? Don't worry about it. What do you got on the list? You don't seem to like any of my topics. No, can we talk about Satanism? Me. We can talk about Satanism. I'm fine with talking about Satanism. I really think I may be a fundamental Satanist. 
I don't really know a lot of their core beliefs, but I do believe that they have a better... Um... Well, Satanism is really just a form of radical humanism, and I'm an ordained clergy person in the Church of Spiritual Humanism. Well, there you go. Which is one of my things. I love to have ways to be useful in the world, and I, I kind of collect them. Um, I'm looking into being a notary. I'd love to do that. I really want to be Missouri's first uh, ayahuasca shaman. That's never going to happen. Well, no, I think psilocybin's next. Recreational just hit yes. for cannabis. Psilocybin will be next in a couple of years, and then I think ayahuasca's down the pipe. I don't think it's going away. I think it's something that we're going to have to learn to uh, welcome as a healing uh, whatever. And, I still don't uh, fully understand what it does. Is it like a DMT style trip that people use as therapeutic kind of like thing? I don't know. If, I don't. Uh, I, I guess that it, wasn't a real sentence. Sorry. E yeah, it's a uh, it's a cactus plant, I believe, and it so sounds like peyote. Uh, I think it's more similar to peyote. Yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, but here's the thing: I don't know how to become a shaman, so I got to work. I got to oh. work here locally on the laws for the next couple of years, like Randy Marsh, and then. I have to also learn how to become a shaman because I want to be a real shaman. I don't want people to think that I'm just calling myself a shaman. You got to have integrity. Do you have to wear a certain uniform when you're a shaman? That's just, these are the questions that... Can you start writing down some of these questions? Maybe just make some notes. Because I think that's a good question. Right. Uh, and maybe we should ask the audience. I mean, yeah. what, do you, what do you look Call for? Call in, text in. What do you look for in a shaman? What? Do you look for in a shaman? What is a shaman supposed to look like? How do you spell shaman? I definitely smell like a shaman. I know that much. Is it S-H-A-M-A-N? Yeah, that sounds right. Nice. We're going to go with that. Now, what did I say? Is there a uniform? Okay, so some of the tenets of fundamental Satanism. One should strive to act with compassion and empathy toward all creatures in accordance with reason. Can you repeat that? One should strive to act with compassion and empathy toward all creatures in accordance with reason. Yeah, that sounds fine. I like it. Check. So far, so good. I'm all for it. Tenant number two, the struggle for justice is an ongoing and necessary pursuit that should prevail over laws and institutions. Yes. I like it. Just sounds safer than whatever's going on right Tenet now. Tenant number three, one's body is inviolable, subject to one's own will alone. That means my body, baby. Leave me alone. Don't you touch me if I don't want to be touched. That should just be a basic understanding. Well, this is what I'm saying. I know. That's Have horrible. we heard anything crazy yet from the Satanists? That reminds me actually of how uh, like the lay on hands mm -hmm. Christianity thing. Lay it on so them. Heavy. I remember when I worked at a hospital when I was younger. Or don't, I mean. Mm -hmm. Do we need to talk about it? Please. Okay. All right, sorry, we thought you were telling me to shut up for a second. No, no, no. I was talking so about not touching I had I had guests in a patient's room, like visitors. And uh, and then, for some reason, one of the visitors like fell over and looked like they were seizing for a second and peed themselves, and then they were like uh, speaking tongues, and I had to like get a stretcher and get her on a stretcher, and they asked me to take her down to the emergency room because I didn't work in the ER. I worked on a floor. And uh, I got into the ER with this lady on a stretcher speaking tongues and like, like all oh, like she was doing this and waving her hands about and people from the, the waiting room of the ER had all came up and gathered around her and started putting their hands on her and being like, yes, the Lord has touched this person. Let it pass into me so I may heal. Blah, 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 blah. They were doing a bunch of that and praying. Really? It got weird. Where was this? It was at the ER at a hospital in the city that I'd, I'd rather not just name no, it. No, no, no. I mean, it's just, uh, I just. I didn't know all the they those people didn't all know each other. Uh, nope. But strangers. Well, that's beautiful. Some of them were injured. Some of them were just maybe that looking sick. that would be a great subject for a music video. It was just it was mildly chaotic, especially for me being a person that didn't want to be doing it, and you know, yeah, you're like hungover and trying to do your. I job. worked nights. I don't know. It was weird. I wasn't hung. I might have been hungover. <clears throat> but uh, either way, I was at work, and you know, I was also young. I was like nineteen. You were a young guy, so I didn't know so what the young. fuck to do as a nineteen-year-old. That was around the time that I got my first DUI. Your first? My my only. Your only DUI. <laughs> yeah, That's what sorry. I thought. You bag of shit. Well, let's not talk about it too much. I don't want to jinx myself. Yeah. What I mean, people love to come on this show and just out themselves for yeah, wrongdoing. You know what you do, and what we were talking about it the other day, because yeah, it's just you're such a unique thing, you do sort of like work as a magnet for weird people that love to express the weirdness. Yeah, they love me. You I don't some, know what it is. You need some awesome fucking crazy people. I love it. People are nuts around me. Mm. 
and you can tell when there's an astrological event because they'll all start blowing my phone up on the same day. <laughs> like it'll be like Saturn is upside down or some shit, and I'll have like five manic narcissists in my phone, like talking about like manic narcissists, like projects they want to do. It's great. It sounds exhausting. Oh, it's you know, I mean, my thing is, I want to be valuable to other people because I don't feel like intrinsically that I am. Uh, just emotionally or subconsciously or whatever. So, you know, I, I invest in things that I'm good at that I can do to other people to make myself valuable. But then you give a mouse a cookie. I think I'm less like, like I'm not as involved in socializing with people now as I like, I'm more isolated now. I think that I've ever been and I'm okay with it. Like I, okay I still it. see people, you know, but yeah. it's not like I'm going out. Like I used to go out like five nights a week, you know, especially back in the in industry days. So it was just kind of like, you know, what you do. And uh, now it's like, I'm, I don't, I don't do that. Maybe I'll go to the city like once a week. Well, that's part of it too. Not living in the city makes it easier. That is so true. I mean, I used to, I used to live crawling distance from some bars in South Grand, you know? Yeah. That was a very different time. Yeah, actually, that was around the time that I was in. Uh, no, maybe I worked in pediatrics then. Remember that time I tried to get that guy to come back to your apartment from Manja? Yeah, to like just hang out, and, and I was like, I was like, please don't. And he's like the sound guy at a venue here locally, I think. Is and he? so, and so I recognized him. I was like, where do I know that guy from? And then I realized I was like, kind of embarrassed. I don't think he remembered. I don't, I don't know. Maybe he did. We were hammered. I think we, we were hammered. We, then I we felt Manja. Yeah, or was it CB's? Manja. No, because uh, Manja was open later than CB. So it was right. probably CB's and then Manja. And then I, I probably told that guy, you want to come drink beer and play guitar at my brother's apartment? Oh, man. I really shouldn't have let that happen. Well, and then you kind of shoot him away because I fell asleep. Yeah, you, you fell asleep sitting up on the couch. And I was like, you should go. <laughs> if I recall that properly, yeah, I have no idea. I think idea. you were still in your scrubs, too. Like, was that was when we would like, you would meet me at the bar from work. That's probably when I worked evening. So I got off at like 1130. Yeah. And I would just go to a bar. Yes. And uh, uh, no, my, no my, 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 oh, my. we were talking about the Satanism. Nice. So so far, we're going how did we get away from that? The tenets of fundamental Satanism. Speaking of Satanism, uh, the freedoms of others should be respected, including the freedom to offend, to willfully and unjustly encroach upon the freedoms of another, is to forego one's own. I agree. I, I think that was a really good way to say fuck around and find out. Yeah, yeah. You better not. <laughs> you beliefs, better not. Number five, beliefs should conform to one's best scientific understanding of the world. One should take care never to distort scientific facts to fit one's beliefs. Humanists Word. are real into that kind of thing. I just think everyone should just be accepted and understood. I don't understand why there's still any like, oh, I don't like this person, but I like yeah. this person bullshit still. I mean, yeah. it's so dumb. Yeah. Questions are, I'm sorry, tenant number six, people are fallible. If one makes a mistake, one should do one's best to rectify it and resolve any harm that might have been caused. Yeah, unless you like do something horrible. Like there's this guy that had a trial that was on all day uh, that killed his wife and his son and stole like a couple million dollars from somebody. Went really crazy. Got to watch him. The cry. spirit of compassion, wisdom, and justice should always prevail over the written or spoken word. One more time. Do it again. The spirit of compassion, wisdom, and justice should always prevail over the written or spoken word. Yeah. Loving it. But, you know, I mean, the whole, like, crazy religious person thing has, like, contributed a good thing to, like, the movie scene. You ever see, like, a suspense thriller, and it's just, like, some crazy, just really overly, like, invested person that's, you know, religious. And uh, they just end up, like, going absolutely nuts in the name of the Lord or something like that. I'm talking about like the mist, the Stephen King, you know, yeah, book that's, movie. That's where I thought you and were the going. lady in the grocery store went nuts. That's a great example. That did definitely cross my mind. You know, what was on at the bar tonight was speed one or two. The, the Sandra Bullock, Keanu Reeves. Yeah. The one with all the famous people in it. Uh huh. That one. Yeah. So was it one or two? Cause it was the one sec second one had Willem Dafoe. So I didn't know which one. You what? I didn't even know there was a second, the second one. one's on a cruise ship and Willem Dafoe is the bad guy. Yes. Is it Sandra Bullock and Keanu still? Yes. Re no way. Both of them? Yes. Really? They upgraded from bus to boat, baby. Is that real? Bus to boat. 
They definitely did. Bus to you, bus. I, I think it. I think it had some sort of weird sub subtitle. Do like, you remember? Like, uh, it was like it was like shit. What was it? Speed. We speed two were cruise on control. On a bus. That's what it, that's, I think it's what it called. Hold on, hold on. And now we're on a boat. Love that. I should put that in the movie. Willem Dafoe's oh. on a boat. Speed. Willem yep, Dafoe. Yep, there you go. 1994 Speed. 1997 Speed 2 Cruise Control. Cruise Control? Oh, wait, you know what? Keanu might have not been in this one. Was Sandra Bullock? Keanu was not in the second one. It was Sandra Bullock and Willem Dafoe, and then Jason Patrick. Is he supposed to be that same guy, though? N- I don't... Ooh. I don't actually know. I should look it up. Maybe they did a recast. Oh, that'd be devastating. Do you think they changed who it was? No, no, no. In the first one, uh, Keanu was Jack Traven. And in the second one, uh, what's his name? Jason Patrick is Alex Shaw. So two different fellas. Rush Hour hits the water. I'm sorry? That's the tagline on this poster for Speed 2. Oh, from That's the same horrible. director as Speed and Twister. Twister's getting a sequel. It is Twisters. Mm-hmm. They plurled it. Oh, Sandra looks good. She was young. Okay. Speed 2, Cruise Control. Can we stream that somewhere? You know, actually, I think that Sandra Bullock has really tried to, like, I've succeeded at maintaining her beauty. <gasps> over the decades. Look at this screenshot. Good for her. Of Willem, look at Willem Dafoe's crazy face. I can't really tell. Can you find out where we can stream that? Do you want to have a sleepover? It's on Hulu. I got to work in the morning, man. I got church in the morning. Uh, watch options on FX Now. Also rent on Prime. Let me rent What's it FX on Now? It's fucking, it's one of the What's streaming, that? it's some kind of cable. Everyone's got a streaming service now. It's, it's showing me that it's on uh, Hulu. Mm-hmm. You know those gas stations where they got like small videos on their uh, on their gas pumps? They have a streaming service. You can watch that shit at home now. You could stream like the gas pump TV. Mm-hmm. That sounds it sounds relaxing. No, I'm joking. Sometimes it's helpful. It's a nice quick format. They'll give you like a little thirty second thing about a squirrel, and then like a little thirty second thing about the weather. Well, it's nice to you know, keep people entertained while they're spending a bunch of money on fueling their vehicles. Is gas high? I don't feel like gas uh, is high. I don't feel like it's ever really come back down like fully. I think now it's around three a gallon. That's not bad. Like I think you should just. I think you should just stay at two ninety nine. You know what? Maybe that'd be better. I just. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the economy, and I'm worried that. Oops, like I'll pay two ninety nine if it's going to stay at two ninety nine. I think that the housing market's coming down a little bit. So I don't know what nice. that means. That doesn't make me feel good. The cost of homes is going down because you remember it skyrocketed for a while. Well, and interest, interest rates, rates were low up. and yeah. then they went up. And so now it's readjusting. However, I got really it's not lucky. adjusting like it should be. A lot of people I know got lucky. The timing was fantastic, but it's well, still it was a big a window. Thing. It stayed really good for a long time. It's just, uh, I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried we're going to have a repeat of the 2008 thing, but it's kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of be drawn out over like a few years rather than. Not a few years, maybe a year or something. It's just something bad's going to happen. Well, that was a very specific incident related to like predatory lending that we don't really, we kind of fixed after that. A lot of it, not all of it, of course. It wasn't predatory. It was, no, it, yeah, it, people, no, it, no, that was it, all about it was those predatory, but it was also, loans, dude. It was, it wasn't just predatory. It was also just reckless. It was just kind of like, hey, everybody gets a loan. We don't give a shit. We're going to get the interest on it. Blah, 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 right. blah. You know, and a lot of people gained, uh, gathered a lot of property in that way, corporations and shit, and then it all just kind of went to nothing. And uh, I just don't want to repeat or have to live through that. When we lived it wasn't through it, that we bad. were so young, we didn't really care, you know? Uh, we're going to be okay. 2008, I was in high school. I didn't give a fuck what was going on. Yeah, you weren't buying a house. No, exactly. We already lived in a house. Mm. Same house. Yeah. You guys should just move in here. <sighs> nah. Nah. We're kind of split on what we want to do, actually, because some people are telling us buy a home and then get the equity in that. And that'll be great value to have for yourself. But then there's other people like uh, like that also agree with the idea that buying like a multi unit thing and then living on one side, renting out the other would be good. But also, I don't know if I want to be a landlord. Like that just sounds You'd really be stressful. good at it because you could fix things. Well, and landlords, though, like I feel like sometimes landlords can be fucking shitty. And I just don't want to accidentally like let myself fall into some sort of bad habit as a landlord. You really got to, you know, like, I, I don't know. It's like, it's like, how do people get that way? Well, and here's and the thing. People that tell mistakes. you to do stuff like that are assuming that you have like a bunch of capital you don't know what to do with. I don't. Like you buy a, 
Like rich people will get online and say things like, well, what you do is when you have a kid, you buy that kid a house and you rent that house while that kid is a kid. And then when they turn 18 and they go to college, you sell that house. So you buy one in the college town and you rent that one. And I'm like, guys, what do we, who the fuck is doing that? Dude, These people that have just $500,000 sitting around, they don't know what to do with. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Jesus. And, these, and these people love to hear themselves talk. So they go online and they make TikToks I mean, about, like you know what I would do time. if I was 19, I would take, uh, all my borrowing power and I would blah, blah, blah. And they like, I'm like, yeah, it's not, yeah. If I had $300,000 to buy an apartment building. I mean, you don't really need that much, you know, especially if you're a first time home buyer and you get that credit. Apparently that's very helpful. And so you can put less down. Well, it just means you can put less down. Yeah. yeah but, but I mean, the, you can still have a fucked rate. Yeah. But and prices every, are still so high right now. Prices are still kind of up from when interest rates were low, but they're going to start coming down because interest rates are higher, but then the interest rates are higher. But I they're not nearly a, as high as they used to be. Interest rates used to be double digits all the time. I don't I, think they're I found that a side by side one on the other side of Francis Park over here that uh, was like $300,000. And I was like, for that square footage. Mm. anyway it's a great area but like holy shit well and that's just a lot of responsibility to take on um that early in your you know home owning life i just sometimes get bored and pop on the zillow you know just keep an eye well that's healthy yeah you know uh you know who's not doing that there's a prison for sale not far from here well no it's actually it's actually like a little bit south of kansas city it's like three oh it's that way it's like 300 something miles that'd be fun living in a jail well yeah but i mean it had like 13 cells and like functioning like bathrooms we could all move into there everyone has a cell my whole thing is why do that but when my cells are rocking, don't come a knocking. You know what I'm saying? Gross. It's, it, it looks bad. Do you look at the pictures? It doesn't look right. I'd have to clean it real good. I'd paint it. I'd probably get rid of all of the doors. And I, then I wonder either, if it's got a gym in it. We could put a gym in it. What if there's already one in there? Well, that would be nice. Yeah. I didn't see any gym equipment. Gym equipment is expensive. We can so pull this up. It's on my Facebook right now. We could either keep the gym equipment or sell it to make upgrades to the prison. Well, we're definitely going to have to paint the entire thing. Mm-hmm. But it's not as massive as it looks from the inside. Like the inside, it looks like my God, this is a labyrinthian jail. I thought it was like uh, I thought it was like nine thousand square feet or something. It was pretty. I mean, big. it's yeah. I mean, it's bigger than my house. Yeah, yeah. I think they only want three hundred thousand for it. It's probably in the middle of nowhere. It's like yeah, it's less than uh, less than three hundred. If there's not a quick trip or a Wally's, I'm not going. Oh no, dude, you're talking about down by like uh, peculiar Missouri shit like that. Like peculiar, South peculiar. Oh yeah. That's uh, about like 45 minutes south of KC. I think this is like a kind of a similar distance, but I think it's down 71. Oh, uh, it's out 71, is it? Uh-huh, it's down 71 oh, from KC, Christ. which kind of goes southeast a little bit. I had no a idea. More, a little bit more southeast than south. And so when you look at that, there's going to be truck stops, there's going to be adult bookstores, and there's going to be a prison. And the prison's the one we're looking for. Mm-hmm. Let me pull this up. Where is it? Harrisonville? It was like Martha's Burg or something. You are you are off your ass. Harrisonville, Missouri. You God right. damn, I'm good. I remembered it. Ten thousand square feet of off Dick. of uh, five thousand square feet of office space. Thirty four cells with toilets and sinks in three cell blocks. Oh, it's only a hundred and ninety five thousand dollars. That's less than I paid for this house. Damn. Damn. Okay, maybe we should go buy that. Maybe we should just to hold on to it. Like you're the one that wants to hold on to all this rental property. Why not <sighs> start rent out some prison bargain cells. basement. Oh, I, I posted that on Facebook and someone commented saying that'd be great for like a Walking Dead style apocalypse. And I was like, yeah, no, but it's too close to a big major city. There'd be too it's many not, raiders and hordes. It's not that big. It's not that close to a major How city. How far is it from KC? Look it up. I'm looking at it right now. Look at it's the map. It's got a nice size to it. It's a decent sized town. It's a... It's oh, a I'm you look know what, up. though? It's a flat roof. You know, you've had to replace a flat roof before. That's a pain in the ass. It is, but we don't got to worry about that. Well, we have to We have to figure out what the state of the roof. Because the I'm maintenance okay. on a flat roof is way different than the maintenance on a slab. I bet roof. it was built properly because of what but was When was the last time the roof for? was replaced? Cause I don't if know. Let's go service it for them. It's a lovely property, though. The outside color is not bad. Cass no, County Law Jesus Enforcement Jesus Center. Camera. So it was like the police station and a detention center. 38-minute drive from Kansas City. That's a little close for zombies. That's what I'm saying. That's a little close. Not even 100 miles? 
We'd be overrun in days. Mm, but they have the visitation center with the little phone. The traffic would probably be backed up to there. They have the visitation with the little phone. The little windows where you get to have see visitors. You put your nipple on the glass. Yes. This is horrible. Billy. Like, you know what, though? $195,000. We should buy it and just rent it to people to shoot prison movies in. Or we could rent it out to homeless people. What if we just leased it? By as, rent it out, I mean provide a service. We could we rent it to people that want to make a prison show. We could make one hundred ninety-five thousand dollars back. We'd in probably no time. have to clean it up to make it look like a functioning. Well, I mean, we'll have to do it to spec. It's a little gross. It's a little bit greasy. It's a little grimy. I think there might be shit on the walls. There's something on this. And who knows what's in that? There's drain a lovely system. mural in here. Oh God, is it? Is it? Is it like open? Uh, is it open like sewers or is it like septic? Because that'd be a nightmare. Which one would be a nightmare? Septic. Mm, I don't think it would be septic. Do you? How, I mean, someone getting to come to service uh, an old ass prison septic. Tank. jailhouse there's a, the water heater looks nice electric paneling all looks up to date office bathroom needs some work i think one of the cats was fucking with something i got this one right here okay what is that what am i hearing what what am i hearing behind me oh the ice maker that's the ice maker yeah it's loud oh fuck that was disruptive oh oh here's some nice storage space this looks like a pantry i don't know i don't know 195 i think it's worth it I mean, for the square footage and the potential, you could do a lot. You know, some people live in old stores and banks and redo shit. And uh, it look crazy. I don't know, man. If we bought it just to like, we could do a scared straight program in there. We could do a reality show. You know what? They really need it. Do you have you ever seen that documentary about Rich Hill, Missouri? No, it was on Netflix years ago. Uh, and how like poor and sad. Do you remember Rich those kids is? that we hung out with that time? Uh, a couple times, I think. They were like the daughter of the lady that worked at the diner, right? No, no, no. The boys we hung out with. I think that they were the, the a boy and a friend. And the, one of the boys was the son of the lady at the diner. Yeah. And then, but they were all smoking cigarettes. Yes, I remember. And we like, went to oh, that wow, couple's house and the cigarettes. guy went to buy cigarettes for these children. That was a weird day. And uh, and then later they're just stray dogs. We well, were supposed to hang out by the by the water tower in the park. Was that the plan? I don't remember. I feel like I remember that being a thing. What are we going to do about Ben the Bear? Well, my whole thing is that I don't understand. What if, if we go get Ben? Animal. What if we take Ben to live in Harrisonville at the prison with us? I'm betting that he's a little bit like desensitized to human contact and like things like that. Well, yeah, he keeps care. getting out. But yeah, you got to wonder like what's keeping him trying to get out that cell, you know. What's it going to take to get him yeah, to settle down? You know, is he, is he, is he going to Andy Dufresne and put a hole in the wall and then put a, a Wouldn't poster that be great over it? If they're like it, one day Andy they went and there's just like a poster of Carmen Electra and they're like, that's who put this poster in the bear? It was thing? Ben. And they take it down and it's a big hole in the wall because Ben finally a tunneled out. A 300 pound bear, a hole in the wall after yeah because that's the thing 300 pounds he's not a giant bear and he climbs out into the rain and he's in the mud and he's, he's crawling screaming. through the river des perez and to he freedom screams at the gods freedom but here's the thing would like he know Shawshank. how to get all the way back home he's from peru or something no he wouldn't know how to get home but he'd probably get over and he'd probably get on the highway and get hit let's be honest he'd get out there on 40 no acting a damn that. fool i wonder if he could get across the bridge over to chicken out or pat connelly's what's the chicken place he could get he could get across highway 40 to pat connelly's going for a burger or a beer or both they do fried chicken on fridays do they mm -hmm. i've only been there like three times hey, you know what that makes the whole building smell like fried chicken it's not great i love that i don't know what you're talking about no it smells like cold greasy fried chicken mm. when the whole building smells like mm -hmm. it my right nipple just got hard oh just the right one huh yeah just the right one man this little fan next to me is making it nice and chilly in here um, we're about to start wrapping this up. Any uh, what's what's going on with you? Are you doing okay? Oh yeah, just you know piling through that existential dread thing. Man, I had a fat edible the other day, and it sent me into a doom spiral of just panic. I was outside of my body, and I I thought I had fucked my whole life up, and I didn't deserve anything nice. It was crazy. That's actually why I'm scared of ayahuasca because I don't want I don't know if I want to try it. It wasn't either. ayahuasca, but no, no. I'm just saying we were talking about that earlier. And yeah, you know, but the I ayahuasca thing sounds exactly. It's like I got too many demons. I got demons I want to resolve. I don't know if they'll resolve I think I or take over, is what I'm saying. Yeah. You know? That's a good point. Well, guys, know. that's another episode of Jacob V Weekly. We're going to have another episode coming out very, very soon to try to stay on target for our four a month plan. Patreon.com slash Jacob V is the only way to support us financially. Caddyshack of New Hamill, Illinois. Uh, save a life or nine. Patreon. 
Patreon.com. No antics. Blinded by stereo. Flyover state. Jacob V. Interact with this podcast wherever you get podcasts. Apple Podcasts. Blah, blah, blah. Spotify. Jacob V's favorite songs on Spotify for February. We're listening to that tonight at Trivia. Don't sleep. You get a playlist from me on Spotify every month. Um, I should probably start linking those in the Patreon, too. That would probably help those people, don't you, you should, think? You should put everything in the Patreon. Everything. Good. All thank, of it. Thank you. Thank you so much. All of it! Uh, high five, guys. We did it. Be safe. Love you.